Merry Valley residents are still waiting for the Deputy Premier to deliver a new land sales strategy two months after he promised answers. Locals say uncertainty is impeding progress within the community. Bronwyn Kerr sold her Kandanga property to the state government four years ago when land was being resumed for the proposed Traveston Crossing Dam. But her offer last month to buy it back has been knocked back. She says the new government sale price isn't reasonable. It was only 60000 less than what I'd already bought it for. It's run down, nothing's been done on it, no work's been done on it. Um, yeah, I didn't think that that was, um, you know, a good, a, a good price, you know, to buy back. Two months ago, Deputy Premier Jeff Seney visited town, promising the community an effective land sales strategy would be ready by this week. But the community is still in the dark. People are keen to come here. They know that there's properties out there to be put on the market, to be sold. And, um, yeah, we're not sure what's going on, so nobody seems to know what's going on. We still have a lot of land which is still in government ownership and would like to see that return back to private ownership. The Deputy Premier's office told Seven Local News today the government is close to finalising a new strategy for the Mary Valley. It will be considered by Cabinet soon and made public in the near future. Mary Valley advocates say they've seen positive interest in people wanting to move to the area and make it their home, but they say uncertainty surrounding property sales is plaguing the progress of their community. The campaign we had to save the Mary River was really... A, it built some wonderful connections within the community and it shows a very strong community spirit. A community forum will be held at Imbul on August 2nd. Demi Buxton, 7 News.